Good afternoon. Come forward. Aren't they a great looking bunch? <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Teresa Teasley, Associate Dean for the Undergraduate Program and Professor in the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. On behalf of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences in Georgia Southwestern State University, I'd like to welcome you to our Bachelor of Science in Nursing pinning ceremony. As you will soon hear from one of our faculty members, um, this is a very special occasion for our graduates and for our faculty and she'll be sharing the significance of the pen in just a little bit with you. Thank you all for being here with us tonight. And now I'd like to invite Dr. Sandra Daniel, Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, to give her remarks. Greetings, everyone. Um, as I want to thank Dr. Teasley for uh, welcoming uh, all of us here this evening. And I, I want you to know what an exciting day there, that this is for every one of us, our graduates, families, friends, faculty, staff, I do mean everyone. I also extend greetings and congratulations on behalf of our GSW President Weaver and our Vice President and Provost, Dr. Suzanne Smith. They could not be here with us today, but they will be here tomorrow. And they send their regrets, but look forward to tomorrow's event. As Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, and a nursing alumna, I'm honored to be a part of this ceremony. The penning service is indeed a long-standing ritual of our profession. Class of 22, today our nursing faculty will welcome you very shortly, formally, into our profession. And tomorrow you receive your Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. And I indeed believe you've reached the pinnacle of your efforts and your education. Congratulations. I think I would be correct in my assumption that all of you probably found this nursing program to be a bit more difficult and challenging than you may have ever anticipated. You had so much to learn. We had so much to teach. And I know you thought it would never end, but it was a rel relatively short time frame that you did this. Look at you today. I have spent the past two years watching you in the hallways, in the foyer, in classrooms. You looked a bit tired, worn out, and I thought, oh, we are cruel to you. But I had the pleasure of watching the video a while ago, and you all found plenty of time to have a lot of fun. So I feel much less guilty. I'm delighted. I do want to say on a serious note, while you receive your degree tomorrow, don't forget there is one final stretch ahead of you. I know you all know what I'm talking about. There's this exam that you will be taking in just a few short weeks. Um, the holidays are upon us, and we're going to all be celebrating and celebrating big. I'm delighted that you're doing that. But please carve out time every day to spend with that final readiness preparation. Because there are people in this audience who depend on you. We want you to pass that exam the first time and begin working as a registered nurse very quickly. 
you will quickly recognize that you are not just a nurse. You are going to be known as a GSW nursing graduate. And we do like to think that we stand apart from many, many others. From our first graduating class in 1956, our alumni have created a reputation of excellence of which we now firmly stand. And we know and expect that you continue this excellence as you move into your nursing degree. You are our new generation of nurses and you will become leaders in our profession. I challenge you to continue to think broadly, deeply, and creatively, and I know you all can do that, uh, because we are in the midst of the need to redesign or create a very new healthcare delivery model. Changes that are more efficient, more effective in design, and that all, always will result in a higher quality of care. It's now projected that we will never have enough nurses at the bedside or other healthcare professionals. We had hoped it was temporary because of COVID, but that is not showing to be the case. It's going to be essential that we have this new healthcare design. You as nurses, you represent the largest healthcare profession, professional body, and you need to take every opportunity to utilize your knowledge and that creativity that I mentioned as you, our new generation of nurses. I look forward to seeing what it will look like, how you will be operating, and I know it's going to be a better place to receive care. To our graduates and our families and other loved ones, you know all too well that you're our graduate today. You uh, have relied on your support throughout this educational journey. What you may not know is that the support of others, such as your family members, often makes the difference between success and failure of our nursing students. I thank you for your support. And those of you who are here tonight, I think you can attest to that. There are a couple of additional groups that I would like to recognize. One group represents our clinical partners who provide the clinical experience opportunities for our students. Thank you for those who are here this evening and taking the uh, time to celebrate with us. The other group is our nursing faculty and our staff who support us every day. Each one dedicates many hours to the nursing program throughout the year to ensure that you have received the best of the best in nursing education. Would you join me in uh, applauding these two very special groups here. I look forward to hearing from you as you begin your careers, and I hope you return to GSW to pursue graduate studies very soon. Um, we look forward to uh, you, you moving into your clinical areas and Please do stay in touch. And yes, graduates, you did it. Congratulations. Well, it's my honor to present two awards this afternoon. First, the Sigma Theta Tall Outstanding Leadership Award, and then the Cynthia Dudley Academic Scholarship Award. So the Sigma Theta Tall International Honor Society, Mu Pi Chapter. This award is being given to the graduating senior for exemplifying outstanding leadership. On behalf of the Mu Pi Chapter of Sigma Theta Tall, 
It's my honor to present this award. To be invited into the International Honor Society for Nursing, undergraduate students must achieve academic excellence, which is a GPA of 3.0 or higher based on all previous college coursework, rank in the upper 35th percentile of the graduating class, and meet the expectation of academic integrity. This student was inducted into the MUPI chapter a few weeks ago, and based on faculty recommendation for her leadership abilities, is being presented with this award. The fall 2022 recipient of the MUPI Award for Outstanding Leadership is Hannah Harbage. Yeah. So it's my honor to present Hannah with this plaque, a scholarship check she may use as she chooses, as well as her honor cords. Our induction was virtual, so Hannah is just now receiving her cords, just in time for graduation tomorrow, so that you may wear them proudly with your regalia. The second award being given um, tonight is the Cynthia Dudley Academic Nursing Award. This award was established by Dr. Gatewood Dudley in honor of his wife, Cynthia Dudley, who is a nurse and a graduate from GSW's nursing program. This award is being presented to the graduating nursing student from the College of Nursing and Health Sciences who has achieved the highest grade point average while a nursing student. The recipient of the December 2022 Cynthia Dudley Academic Scholarship Award is Sarah Smith. Sarah is receiving a plaque tonight as well and um, a, a very generous uh, scholarship check. to also recognize two uh, groups of students. Um, the first is our Georgia Southwestern Association of Nursing Students. We call them G-SWANs. The purpose of this organization is to aid in the preparation of nursing students for assumption of professional responsibilities. Pre-nursing and nursing students are eligible to join this student organization. Our G-SWANs chapter is very active, mentoring pre-nursing and nursing students, and is involved in community service on the GSW campus as well as in Sumter and the surrounding counties. At this time, I'd like to recognize our graduating senior who has served on the G-SWANS Executive Board for her hard work and dedication to this organization. Tristy Pickle Lee, please stand so we may recognize you. We thank you for your service. The next group is our mentorship program. With the assistance of our faculty advisor, Ms. Carrie Batchoffer, we now have a formal student-led mentorship program in the School of Nursing. I'd like to recognize these graduating seniors who accepted the challenge to become mentors. Please stand when I call your name so we may recognize you. 
Bailey Leanne Christian. And Tristy Pickle Lee. For our next award, I'd like to ask for our Phoebe representative, Madison Scala Young, to come forward and present. Good evening. Can everybody hear me? Okay, good. good. <laughs> okay, so my name's Madison Young, and I'm a, a registered nurse at Phoebe Sumter Medical Center. And um, I'm going to start out by saying congratulations, you guys. I know it was hard, and it literally took blood, sweat, and tears to get here. Um, I'm sure, as I am, your family's proud of you. And your GSW faculty, for sure, is proud of you. It, it is hard, and y'all did it. Um, so today I was asked um, to present the uh, GSW Clinical Excellence Award. And um, when they asked me to do this, um, I, I could have written a book about the student that's going to be receiving this award. Um, not only do they show clinical excellence at the bedside, they show compassion and drive. And compassion and drive on your worst days as a nurse is what gets you through. Um, so the Clinical Excellence Award is an award presented to a student of each graduating class um, who has demonstrated sound clinical skills, exhibited both professionalism and integrity, and displayed sincere initiative and eagerness to learn. And all of those and more are true for this student. Please help me congratulate Bailey Christian. I told you, it, started, it starts and ends with me. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. My name is Laura Stanley. I'm one of the faculty members here at the School of Nursing. And guys, it has been an honor and a privilege to be part of your journey here at Georgia Southwestern State University. So tonight, I am going to share with you all the history of the pinning ceremony. Yes, this energy, it's always here. <laughs> All right, so the ceremony, it originated back in the 12th century during the Crusades. The Crusaders were, cared, the Crusaders were cared for by individuals known as the Knights of the Order for the hospital of John the Baptist. And when new monks entered into the order, they were presented with a Maltese cross badge this, of course, symbolized um, protection, and it was presented to them during a ceremony in which they vowed to care for the sick soldiers. The more modern nursing ceremonies uh, began in the 1860s when Queen Victoria awarded Florence Nightingale with the Red Cross of St. George for her selfless service during the Crimean War. Nightingale, who is the founder of Modern Nursing, decided to share this experience among her most exceptional nursing students. In 1916, the pinning ceremonies for nursing graduates became a standard practice in the United States. Each pin is uniquely designed to reflect the history of its respective nursing program. The pin that you are being presented with today was designed in 2002 following the creation of the first generic baccalaureate program here. The building that is displayed on your pen 
was the college's original administration building, and it honors those graduates who matriculated from the college's first associate degree program in 1956. The image of the wreath was later added in 1975 for the inaugural graduates of the college's first RN to BSN program. The pinning ceremony itself is much more than an event to mark the completion of a nursing program. It is a rite of passage into a historic profession, and it serves as a constant reminder of nursing's well-founded promise to serve others. Our hope today is that you will wear this badge with GSW pride and as a testament of all the hard work and sacrifice you endured while earning your degree. Let it be a symbol of your ability to persevere in times of difficulty and as a constant reminder of your strength. On behalf of the nursing faculty here at Georgia Southwestern State University, I am proud to be the first of many to welcome you into the nursing profession. Congratulations, class of 2022. Take the nursing profession by storm. <laughs>
Hannah Elizabeth Harbage. <laughs> Hannah will be working in the neonatal ICU at Atrium's Children, Children's Hospital. Also known as Navicent. Hannah Elise Kendall. <laughs> Hannah will be working as a clinical nurse at Children's Health Care of Atlanta. <laughs> Bryson Langford. Bryson will be working at Phoebe Sumter in the emergency room. <laughs> Tristy Pickle Lee. Tristy will be working at Phoebe Sumter in the emergency room. Ooh. Cole Maxwell. Ooh. Cole will be working in the surgical intensive care unit at Phoebe Main in Albany. Lauren Brooke McClure. Lauren will be working at the neonatal intensive care unit at Navicent Children's Hospital. Alexa Rose Montalbano. Alexa will be working in labor and delivery at Phoebe Sumter. <laughs> Bryce Robert Schmitz. Bryce will be working in the cardiovascular ICU at Navicent. <laughs> Joshua Siwopor. Joshua is in our Army Enlisted Corps program. We thank him for his service. He desires to work in the ICU, and he's going to go where Uncle Sam sends him. <laughs> Sarah Gray Smith. Sarah will be working at Phoebe Main in Albany in labor and delivery. And Dane Starrett. Dane 
Jane's also in the Army Enlisted Corps program. Both of these uh, gentlemen that I've mentioned in this program are active duty U.S. military in the Army. Dane wants to work medical surgical, and he'll also go where the U.S. government needs him most. Hey, Dane. Dane, come back down and join me. I'd like to call Dane back, uh, call him up to the program podium. Uh, yes. Thank you, thank you. Podium. Um, he's going to give remarks from his graduating class, and this was very special. He was selected by his peers to be able to deliver this address, so that, that speaks a lot about Dane. All it's all yours. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> paid actors. That's my uh, nephew, also paid. Best ten dollars ever spent. All right. Good evening, everybody. My name is Dane, and it is an honor to be speaking on behalf of this cohort today. I want to start by thanking all the family and friends who made it out here to celebrate this amazing accomplishment. I'm not gonna lie. Without my mom's home cooking and my dad's political rants, I honestly don't know how I'd make it through. Um, I'd also like to thank the faculty um, for one putting up with me, and two, to um, thank them for all the time and effort they invested in mentoring and ensuring our success. It's, it's not lost on us how much you guys did, and um, I just want to say, go ahead and give them an applause for all the hard work they put in. Uh, now on to my class. I low-key thought you guys were going to be down here, so it'd be a little more intimate, so I guess I'll talk to you in the back. We, it's been a long road from late night studying, and let's be honest, stressed out sessions, to uh, Mr. President's mile high, no cards, uh, to complete mental breakdowns and getting out of quizzes, to heart dysrhythmias, and also finding out putting out way too much cake on the table can break it. <laughs> I'll let that one sit in there for a second. Uh, the last two years have been an amazing experience for me. Um, while I sat around and with way too much time on my hands, playing way too many rounds of golf, this cohort has been grinding and pushing. And honestly, I know that they're going to be ready for whatever the nursing world has to offer. After watching these young men and women succeed in both class and clinicals, I know they're going to be amazing. Whether their journey goes to the ICU, the NICU, the emergency departments, pediatrics, or even the oddballs who want to go to med surge. <laughs> I know you guys are going to be great. As many of my cohort know, I came to GSW with already the nursing experience and the army behind my back. Um, I've made it abundantly clear to them that nursing can burn you out and honestly make you question all of your life decisions. But honestly, nursing has been one of the most rewarding experiences in my entire life. Being an advocate for those in need is an amazing responsibility, and I have no doubt in my mind that this group is ready. You guys have grown so much from the first clinical experience, you guys all look like deer in headlights just going to get vital signs, to now you guys are bragging that you can put an 18 gauge in every patient. It's been amazing watching you guys grow. So I want to end by saying how proud I am to be walking across the stage with all of you, and so excited to see what the next chapter has in store for all of us. So, congratulations, class of 2022. Give them a round of applause. That's it. Good evening. I'm Laura Kim Gosa. I'm one of the nursing faculty here at GSW. And right now, I want to invite the class back down here on the front so we can say our Nightingale Pledge. 
It is located on the back of your bulletins. <laughs> Okay, class of fall of 2022, please join with me with our Nightingale Pledge. Let's say it together. I pledge myself here before my family, friends, and in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession with integrity. I will endeavor to maintain and elevate the standard of nursing, both as a science and as an art. I wholeheartedly recognize the importance of high standards of care and of personal accountability. I devote myself to the healing, protection, advocacy, and welfare of those committed to my care. I accept a duty to work for the improvement of health in the communities in which I live and work. I will uphold confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and will respect the privacy of medical information. I will act with compassion in ethical matters. I will not knowingly administer or consume any harmful substance. I commit to interdisciplinary collaboration and lifelong learning. I fully acknowledge the seriousness of the responsibility that I accept in my calling and the significance of this pledge that I make today. Class of Fall 2022, on behalf of GSW and all of the nursing faculty, congratulations again. We're so proud of you. One last thing before we close tonight. Something my dad used to tell me every day growing up. Get out there and live with a purpose and go make it happen. So go pass boards and go make a difference in nursing. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you everyone for coming tonight.